the new old Backman TTA tank wagon 37582D. A standard box conceals a model that was first produced over 15 years ago, following on from the traits of yesteryear Hornby and Lima by building a fairly generic wagon, then applying multiple liveries to it every year or two, some of, some of which can be seen here. RRP is a whopping £32.95p, but with available discounts I got this one for £29.65. Still three times what I paid for it when they first came out. Numbering, lettering and artwork is crisp and legible, even on the sole bar. It's nice to see blackened wheel sets are inserted again, hopefully becoming a standard that other manufacturers take up too. It would also be nice to see these become available as a spare part sometime soon. As a model of age, the level of detail is still to a high standard, especially in areas where others fail. Brake blocks in line with the wheels being an obvious one. A thing that spikes one of my pet hates though is the buffers. Being hydraulic, the telescopic part needs to be silver and I'll just quickly rectify that. Something that I can commend is the couplings. On older versions of this model they had a cranked tension lock coupler that was set to the wrong height. A small spacer being needed to correct the issue. On the new model a straight coupler set to the right height equals a big thumbs up. Being a generic model with multiple identities it took me a while to find a reference to what this model actually depicts. I'd love to be proven wrong on this but while doing the research it would appear that this model is a representation of a vacuum braked vehicle making it tops code TTV not TTA as advertised. The underframe sporting air brake equipment but no vacuum cylinder. This shouldn't bother many unless they are avid rivet counters like me. The Shell and BP logos on the wagon sides makes this a Shell Mex and BP Limited wagon. A joint venture started on the 1st of January 1932 formed by Shell and BP then known as Anglo-Persian Oil Company for distributing and marketing operations in the UK. This agreement lasted until 1st January 1976 when these wagons would have been renumbered possibly twice. Logos adorned in the way that they are are from the late 1960s early 70s and would have been removed or painted out prior to tops renumbering and most certainly before the split of Shell and BP into two separate companies. 